Hey folks, so we have a cool video for you here today. So I bought this a while ago off of eBay um, just for the fun of it. Uh, it is the Space Jam a New Legacy, I guess uh, if you want to call it the Hobby Box. Uh, it's got six cards per pack, uh, 16 packs per box, so you guys can do the math there. So I'm guessing about 100 cards. I will say right off the back, I w did not spend $130 on this. I think I spent more like 40 or something off of eBay. It's been a while ago. Just happened to see it there for a decent price, and I figured, you know what? What the heck? Just give it a shot. Uh, ultimately, the whole point of this is I'm going to try and find... Uh, the autograph cards, uh, mostly, you know, autographed by LeBron James. So, you know, I'm not going to go through every single card and every single scene of the movie. Uh, I remember seeing it uh, when it came out on uh, HBO Max, either, what was it, last year, I think, when they were doing the whole release the same date and as the theater. And I wasn't going to go to the theater and spend money to see this. I watched it, thought it was okay. Uh, but I will admit, before opening this up, I watched it again uh, on Max. And you know what? I think I enjoyed it more the second time than I did the first time. Um, it's a whole lot of fun. It's something for kids. Uh, <laughs> what have you. Um, I still have, you know, there are a few things that I, I, I've seen in the movie. And I'm just going, I, I don't understand why they did things a certain way. Um but it was all, all in fun. So we're going to rip into this. And uh, like I said, we're just going to look for some special cards. And uh, maybe even some special inserts. But mostly we're looking for the autograph card. Um, I will also say one other thing. Uh, I did buy some blaster boxes. Um, it was insanely cheap. Uh, so I will save that for a future video. But uh, the whole thing was just to try and find uh, the autograph cards. Uh, so anyway, so before I open this bad boy up. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, try to do something a little bit off kilter every once in a while. You've seen the Shang Chi, uh, the Bat, I'm uh, not the Batman, the Star Wars, the Yu Gi Oh Pokemon. So I like to open stuff up just for the fun of it. But if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 800 subscribers. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and uh, see what's going on. So. Uh, at my local card shop, the I've seen the blasters for as much as twenty twenty five. Uh, the ones I bought were nowhere near that much, uh, so like I said, it was an exceptionally good deal. And the main reason why I bought it, and uh, like I said, this one was not one thirty; it was like thirty or forty bucks. Um, insanely good deal at the time. Free shipping, I believe. Um, so that's. <laughs> there's there's some tape here so I'm gonna pull out the knife and cut that one as well but you know you can run into some pretty cool cards uh, with these kind of special things like I said the autograph or, or whatever else we had the spider-man into the spider-verse uh, cards read some some cool cards there the Shang-Chi actually got a metal card um, and what have you so they can put some cool stuff in here from time to time and I'm always willing to give it a shot for you know a small a small fee uh, so we're gonna like I said there's 16 packs we're gonna try and do this relatively quickly hopefully uh, 15 20 minutes uh, we're just gonna like I said we're just gonna run through these as fast as we can all right so we're gonna start off here we have Yosemite Sam oh varmint then we have uh, uh, Lola Lola Bunny. Then we have uh, the white. <laughs> we got the white mamba. Oh my word! That 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 I did not catch that in the movie. But anyway, then we have a uh, gossamer. But we have our first. Looks like we have our first insert here. We have Marvin the Martian. Marvin the Martian. Uh, we have looks like a little bit of a reflector card there, refractor. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like we have another one. Looks like a sp special type of insert. Uh, Looks like it's it's bronze or orange a little bit. We have the senior discounts with uh, grandma on there, so we'll we'll put that one off to the side. But everything else pretty much base from what I could tell. So 
this is that's gonna be our official hit so far this one's just just a I presume a random insert it's not numbered or anything it's just a different color in fact we'll put those with the base because I'm pretty sure that's probably one in every couple of packs or so sort of like uh, the book of Boba Fett uh, blaster boxes that I opened where uh, they have you know the the regular and then they have you know the green border and the purple border and what have you so oh we have Marvin the Martian again <laughs> I see a theme here then we have Lola and uh, LeBron almost looking kind of kind of weird there I won't I won't say too much more after that then but we have Wiley Coyote who uh, I have to admit as a kid I wasn't a huge fan of those cartoons but the older I've gotten the more <laughs> more of those have, have actually made me laugh uh, then we have breaking the game Elmer Fudd oh this one's kind of a kind of one of those uh, lenticular ones uh, if that's the right word I'm using but that's pretty cool that's a nice little insert so see yeah we we can pull out some pretty cool cards here uh, and then we have another one with uh, the acne vision but with the the, the interesting border uh, a different color border but that Elmer Fudd is pretty cool now I remember seeing the first Space Jam way back in the day took the kids to the theater that was a whole lot of fun uh, thank goodness they did not reprise this movie with uh, I believe I can fly uh, yeah that that just needed to go <laughs> all things considered Oh, we have uh, Wet Fire. I think that's supposed to be Clay Thompson. Then we have uh, the Brow. That's uh, was AD. Then we have LG Rhythm, played by the awesome Don Cheadle. Then we have another insert with the Road Runner. And then we have we have a purple background with uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Bugs. So yeah, it looks like we have the regular silver. Then we have the bronze color. Then we have a purple. So, and uh, this one's not numbered as well. So, the different colored backgrounds. Looks like it's going to be one per pack. Oh, this one's going to be a pretty cool one. This one's got uh, something special in it. But we have LeBron as a pirate. But then the cool card is a film cell with uh, LeBron James. So that's pretty cool. I will. I, I have nothing wrong with film some film cell cards. Uh, would much prefer if they were you know autographed. But uh, you know what? Not gonna be uh, too picky about that. So so far so good. I think we've opened up three or four packs so far and pulled some halfway decent cards. So but. Oh, <laughs> we'll go through this pack real quick. We have Gossamer, the big hairy beast. And then we have uh, Pete, uh, Toon Squad. Was this uh, uh, the Profiles? Oh, that's a pretty cool card. Then we have Speedy, Underlay, Underlay. Then we have uh, Porky Pig. That's all, folks. And then we have, uh, this is how we get it. But anyway, probably one of my biggest complaints is that, obviously, with this being a Warner Brothers movie, uh, in the background, they had a lot of the, you know, characters from other Warner Brothers uh, uh, properties. We had, you know, Harry Potter and Batman and what have you. But for a kids movie, I didn't understand why the background characters had uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, we have a uh, cosmic materials. We have a court relic, a uh, Yosemite Sam. So that's pretty cool. So I guess this was a. Uh, this court was used in the production of the movie. So, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> I mean, I get it. I mean, that's something more that the parents would get into as far as the Game of Thrones. But, I mean, you had the bad guy and the White Walkers, like, standing right behind him. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure a kid is going to go, you know, if you want bad guys behind him, you can have the Joker. They did have uh, uh, Mr. Freeze, who was way more animated than he should have been. Uh, you could have, you know, the Riddler and, and uh, you know, Lex Luthor and all that kind of stuff. But you have the White Walkers, which, I know, is more current times, but I'm sure the kids are going, uh, who are those, you know? All right, we have Bad News, Lagoon Squad logo, 
another profile pick. And then we have the da uh, kid, Dom. And then we have another uh, Lenny Tunes in Actions with Bugs Bunny. And then lastly, it looks like we have the gray. Uh, we have another purple card. Purple background. So I think this is uh, pack number eight. So far, I won't say I would pay. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't pay $130 on this, and I'm, I'm even. <laughs> I would have been incredibly disappointed if I did. Uh, so, we have that there. So, some more cool cards. We have Granny. Uh, we have the score of uh, when the Toon Squad won, and then we have a Power Moves with the Bron James. That's pretty cool. And then uh, I guess an earlier score with the Style Points. Anyway. Alright, so we have uh, Daffy Duck Portrait. One of my favorites. Uh, Lola Bunny. And then we have uh, High Fiving. And then we have Porky Pig with, uh, oh my goodness, with the rap battle. That was kind of, that was kind of stupid, I'll admit. And then we have Sylvester. And then we have uh, Bronze. Granny's Got Style. So, now one thing I thought was strange um, with all the Warner Brothers uh, references, you know, like I said, Batman, Superman, Scooby-Doo, and all that kind of stuff in the background, the Hanna-Barbera stuff, In one of the scenes, they actually had the DeLorean from, uh, Back to the Future, and I'm like, that's universal, so, how did they, how did they stick that one in there, and, uh, better yet, why, I mean, I'm sure you could have, so anyway, I, that's some of the things I notice when I watch movies, <laughs> I'm one of those kind of people, all right, we have Bugs Bunny again, and then we have the Toon Squad, and then, uh, there we have the Tasmanian Devil. My wife uh, likes him. Then we have Lola Bunny. And then we have a bronze. A, a bronze and a very blurry Lola Bunny. Alright, there we go. We got into focus there. I guess the camera didn't. <laughs> the camera didn't want to be a creeper on a Lola Bunny. And they, uh, if I remember correctly, they definitely uh, slimmed down her figure from the original movie. So, that is whatever. <laughs> then we have the LeBron uh, cartoon portrait. Then we have Granny. Oh, then we have... Oh, oh. Shot all to herself, Lola Bunny. Then we have Daffy. And then we have... Oh, Foghorn Leghorn. Well, I see, I see that yeah, <laughs> voice acting is not in my future, but I I was a huge fan of Foghorn Leghorn growing up. Man, you know what they should have had in that movie? They should have had the Animaniacs and Freakazoid and Pinky and the Brain. How do you how do you not put those in a Warner Brothers movie? Those are those are my favorite. Hit hit the like button if you guys remember Animaniacs. Yakko Wacko and Dot. So Porky Pig. And we're back into blurriness again. Heat check, all right. Then we have uh, Sylvester and Tweety. Taz. Then we have another Lola Bunny All-Stars. All and then we have a purple. Looking for a team. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because in my house, I, I quote a lot of movies from time to time. And uh, every once in a while, somebody will look at me and go, what are we doing tonight? And I'll look at them with a straight face and I'll go, same thing we're doing every night. Try to take over the world. And <laughs> everybody just, they just look at me and just roll their eyes. But you know what? <laughs> you ask the question, that's the answer you're going to get. All right, we have Tweety. We have LeBron. And then uh, Cyber Heroes again. And then uh, everybody in the 3D. And then we have a Speedy. I think that, that's a double right there. And then we have Pete. So we have two, three packs to go. No autograph card yet. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, I, I bought some blasters. And uh, so I'll open those up in a, in a future video. Um, if, you like, if you like what you see so far, hit that like button. This is actually a whole lot of fun. A lot more fun than I thought it would be. It's been sitting there staring at me uh, <laughs> for months now. And I figured, you know what? About time we open this thing. Ah, oh, we have buckets. 
And then we have a uh, Daffy, and then a uh, windmill bonus, and then we have a Kronos. I think that's a uh, was it Damian Lillard, and then we have the White Mamba again, and then we have Marvin the Martian, purple. All right, two packs left to go for this fun rip. We have uh, Eric and Nika. And then we have the LeBron. And then the Squad Gray Bugs Bunny portrait. Then we have another LeBron. And then lastly, the bronze flabbergasted. Alright. One last pack to go. Let's, let's look for some last pack magic here. Maybe, hopefully we'll get an auto, but I doubt it. But that's okay. Alright, we got the stare down. We have the porky pig. Uh, we have LeBron doing the little... A little goofy face, which I give that a big whatever. And then we have this Space Jam 6. I hope not. And then we have the Elmer Fudd. And then the last card we have Kronos again with a purple with a Damon Lillard. So, that's all we got. I mean, <laughs> that's all we got. I should say that's all, folks. Uh, that's how I'll end the video, hopefully, if I remember. But uh, we got some, some pretty cool cards. We got the Elmer. We got the LeBron, we got the White Mamba, we got a Speedy, we got the Lola, we got the Foghorn, we got another Lola, Sylvester, we got another LeBron, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got another Bugs, and we probably the best card is the Material Card Court Relics the for, for Yosemite Sam. That's a thick one too, so I'm going to have to find a, a thick card holder for that one. And then we have a Porky. And then we also have the Film Cell card. That's probably tied for best card of this particular rip with LeBron James on it. We got the, the Roadrunner. Then we have the Elmer Fudd. The, what kind of card do they want to call this one? The 3D card. So that, that one's pretty cool. I really like that one. And then we have the Wile E. Coyote, the Marvin the Martian. And I think I think we've, I've gone through all of them. So... Really not too bad. I mean for I think like I said, I think I paid 30 bucks for the box. It was really cheap Got some pretty cool cards. I'm not gonna lie um, <laughs> Something for you know the PC might sell a couple of them who knows uh, We was really looking for an auto, but we didn't not Not surprised not disappointed. This is a fun rip. This is one of the fun things. I like to do for this channel uh, Once a week. I have a lot more fun things. I have the old comic ball uh, cards from back in the 90s. Those of you who remember back in the day, uh, we had the comic ball with, uh, uh, they were mostly baseball. I, I think one of them was football. But I have all four of those. Uh, and then I have a few other ones. I have the new upper deck with uh, Funko Pops. Uh, like I said, I bought some blaster boxes of these. I have some of the more of the Star Wars cards, Star Wars Chrome. So I like to do some of these just for a change of pace, um, you know, the Pokemon, the Yu-Gi-Oh, the One Piece, uh, something a little bit change of pace and something a little bit to lighten the mood. You know, we, uh, you know, those of us that go to work have a, a good time uh, or, or we work for a living, you know, and we do the commute. But uh, something a little bit of a change of pace, something a little bit lighthearted, something just to go, you know what? I wouldn't have picked that up at the at the store. You know, I'm already spending 20, 30 bucks a box for the sports stuff. I would kind of pass these up just, just because, you know, for whatever reason. I have no problem picking these up, uh, especially if they're cheap, you know, whatever. Open up, rip up a couple of them, and share the experience with you guys. But tell me what you guys think about the, this particular box of the Space Jam A New Lex Legacy. Did you like the cards? Did you like the movie? Let me know. Share it. Post in the comments below. Like I said, the first time I watched it, I thought it was kind of meh. But the second time I watched it, I actually had a little bit more fun with it. So I'll probably watch it again with the kids. But let me know. Share it in the comments below. But thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate doing these things and sharing it with you guys. Like I said, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like these, 
hit that subscribe button and we can have more fun together. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and that's all folks.